Well, a short little review for this campsite here in uh, Chalice, Idaho. This is a very large campground, as you can see. I mean, it goes, I don't know how far down there, way, a couple blocks at least long. It isn't very full right now. We're still during the pandemic. Uh, peaceful, peaceful. That's our Montana right there. You see it right there. Peaceful place. Uh, it's, it's cold here. And uh, this is June 9th, and it's cold here. Uh, 41 when I got up. I think it got down to 39. But the deal is, it's not near the freeway, it's not near a train station, it's low traffic, the main road is right over there, going through there, and you're far enough away in all these buildings, man, it was just peaceful, sleeping. Lots to do here in Chalice, Idaho. Lots to do. So, uh, you can see there's still snow on the hills. Matter of fact, it's been snowing up there since we got here. But... I like it. Uh, I'm going to give it a good rating here. I think you guys, uh, if you're coming through the area, stay a day or two. Uh, there's plenty to see. Ghost towns, mining towns, old, old, lots of stuff to see. The Buffalo Jump. I put these videos already on my channel. And uh, I think you would, uh, you could do worse. And we have. I mean, they even got grass. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is I'll, I'll show you that. I'm going to attach it on here. Uh, the way the sewer sewer line was on the one we were at. Not all of them are that way, but uh, ours definitely was kind of weird. But we had enough hoses. We made it work. And the people are friendly enough. Only seen them once. Nobody bothered us. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. And here's the a little bit of the other video I took earlier. All right, guys, you see the sign way up there. That's where I was standing. So I'm about in the middle of the park, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to pan around here. This uh, little building right here, I think that's your shower house and bathrooms and all that. They got all the, you know, they don't have no swimming pool. That ain't no four-star event place, but the spots are large. You can see how big that spot is over there. And ours is plenty big. You can get any size rig in here you wanted. So, and there are uh, lots of spots. As you can see, I'm trying to do this slowly. So you can not only see the mountains. And uh, way down there is the other end of it. This side of that uh, mobile home down there is where it ends. Uh, you can see a little yellow sign down there in the road, maybe. But uh, this is how big it is. This is a uh, where I started out was one end, then I went to the other side. Now here's this is a road that goes up this side of it, with all these parks, parking spots, and uh, a lot of people are here are workers because I've seen. I mean, there's a guy who got his big dump truck parked down here. I mean, you got plenty of room. Then you got this little pull-through area here. This cost us $18 a night with Passport America. So it would be double that without it. There we are back at the start. So it's reasonable, especially with a passport deal. I wish they uh, uh, honored passport for a week. If America, let's see, American, uh, Passport America, that's it. Passport America, if they did honor that for a week, we'd have stayed here a week. But we got to move on. Now then, I'll show you what the sewer lines look like that I was talking about. Well, here's our little lot. Look how big it is. I got plenty of room to park two cars up there. Even got space back here. The first noise I've heard all day is two old women over there hugging in the, must be buddies, talking rather loudly. But that's the first noise I've heard all day. But here is your uh, hookups. This is what I'm telling you. Uh, that's that's in the wrong spot. Uh, that should be up forward. We know that. 
Because your sewers, everybody's sewers up mid, mid uh, uh, coach. And uh, I'm getting ready to put everything back up. But uh, your water and your power down here, now most people's power, everything's usually up in the middle there. They got all this back here. Now, if I had left my rig in the, so that that would just reach over to the sewer, that's the way all four of it, it's, it's wrong. I imagine they had to put their sewer lines in here. But uh, I noticed this is the only one that's sitting out quite that far. This one's right here. So when you pull in here, make sure you pull in and see this guy, he pulled, he left his rig way back there so he could get to his sewer lines and stuff. Uh, we had enough hoses to make it work, so make sure you carry a bunch of these hoses. Matter of fact, I still got one more. I carry one, uh, I carry this many plus one just in case, but that's going to. It's not much of a drain either. That, you know that that line is going to be full of uh, fluid. And uh, when I start to clean it out today, it's going to have a heck of a time because that to me looks uphill from over there. Although the water, the tanks are higher, it's going to push it that way. So I'm going to be herding my turds, man. But that's the only drawback about this campsite is just find the one that this will work for you when you go, go through here. They... They weren't here when we got here. They let us, uh, they said, find a spot and then pay for it later. We did. Once again, we're using our Anderson levelers. That helped out a lot. But then they sunk down in the gravel, uh, looks like an inch. And we got our little uh, tire locks on. But uh, that's it for this campsite. I still recommend it. That's not a big, that's not a big problem, that sewer line. I mean, you, everybody carries sewer lines and just watch where you park. Uh, it was cold and windy when we got here and rainy, so we just jumped into one and sort of figured it out later. So that's it from uh, Chalice, Idaho. Beautiful place, lots to see. Come and stay at this campsite, you'll like it. Hello, everybody. This is Hank, but you already know that. You've been following me for quite some time now. <laughs>